Hey guys, Jeff Ewens here from Beer Cartel, and I want to welcome you to day number two for the Beer Advent Calendar of 2018. And I've got with me Justin from Quiet Deeds. How you going, Justin? Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Thanks for joining me on the uh, on the recording. And um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, great to have you guys featured uh, in this year's Beer Advent Calendar. Um, and for those of you playing at home, uh, today's beer is the Quiet Deeds Pale Ale. Um, so I thought I'd just uh, grab Justin in a few minutes of his time to tell us a little bit about, um, yeah, Quiet Deeds. Tell us about what you guys are doing and why you're wearing a high-vis vest today. Oh, man. So uh, we're building a brewery. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we've uh, we finally gotten into full-blown build mode here down in uh, Glen Iris, which is yeah. in uh, kind of out near Hawthorne, I guess, out the Glen Waverly line in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, we have just installed our... 20 barrel three vessel brew house um we've put in all of our fermenters and at the moment we're just fitting out uh, all the utilities like gas steam glycol everything we need to make beer yeah yeah and you say so because you, you always um started uh, down the road of kind of um using other people's stainless steel in terms of a little bit of contracting and stuff along those lines and, and having the brand and it's been a bit of a journey to get over the line to actually find a premises and then start building the brewery. So it's a um, pretty oh, exciting time. I think it's, it's been a massive, you know, I think it was a massive journey to, to, to find the perfect location to, to put something like this, which is not only going to be kind of a cellar door brew pub eventually, but also a large enough space to be an operational, you know, like a, an, an operational brewery in the sense yeah. of, you know, being able to turn out fairly large volumes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, Thanks again for um, being willing to, to feature in our um, advent calendar this year. As I said, it's the Quiet Deeds um, Pale Ale. Tell me a little bit about this beer while I um, crack it open and pour it. Oh, nice. I wish I could have one as well. <laughs> <laughs> End of the day. Uh, so the Quiet Deeds Pale is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's more of an Australian-American style pale ale. 4.6% um, yeah. between 26 and 30 IBUs. So not not uh, terribly bitter, quite e yeah. easy drinking with a desire to be Moorish. Yeah. Oh, very good. Nice yeah. head retention there. It's looking yeah. good. Yeah. It's a nice one. I can smell it. It's just uh, bouncing out of the glass. Yeah, it's made with uh, one of my favorite hops, Amarillo, as well as uh, the old classic Cascade. Um, you know, the between the Whirlpool and the, the dry hop, you're looking at about seven grams per liter, which is, yeah. uh, you know, going to give a nice, intense aroma and uh you know bouquet as it were yeah 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 it's um yeah and as you say it's not overly bitter so it is reasonably sessionable in terms of uh it might yeah. be some people might might have wished we put a few more into the advent <laughs> for day yeah number. yeah um, absolutely but it's uh yeah I, I, and i know that the branding's kind of changed i mean i know that the, the pale ale has been around um in the portfolio for quiet deeds for a little while um, yes, correct. And you guys have kind of changed up a bit of the branding. You've, you've even kind of released additional styles. So you've had things like a Lamington um, Ale, and then recently you've had like a New England IPA and things like that. So um, outside yep. of the Pala, which is yeah, a very good quaffer and, and a refreshing drink, tell us a little bit about the beers that you guys do and, and what the ethos is around the brewery. Oh, I mean, you know, I think one of the, the main thing, like in the name itself, Quiet Deeds, is the idea of, you know, humbly and uh, quietly producing quality quality beer, not uh, going crazy and uh, trying to get all the attention in the world for making the most bitter beer or the biggest alcohol beer. It's, it's about quietly and humbly doing something uh, of high quality and, and making sure it's something that, you know, everybody has a chance to try. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to continue with that now that we're going to have our own brewery up and running here shortly. You know, we're going to continue in that vein of coming out with uh, not only the beers that they've had produced elsewhere, you know, when they contract brewed at other places, but yeah. also new beers that are, you know, going to be produced, you know, specifically out of this facility. Yeah. So it's very exciting. And I think the interesting thing is with, uh, with Quiet Deeds, um, you guys are a bit of a mix of expats. Um, so there's, there's a few kind of different, uh, I guess, oh. um, people with different journeys from different areas of the world, uh, that'll be yeah. able to kind of, um, uh, mix in all their, their experiences to kind of create new and exciting beers. So, um, yeah, yeah it's I, a pretty, it's a pretty diverse team and everybody has slightly different background. And so yeah. that just, you add that into the mix and you're just going to get a nice little, you know, blend of ideas and ways to do things, which is yeah. what we're looking forward to. Yeah. And I know that um, I had spoken to Adam 
Um, and yep. originally we were talking about doing a, a like a collaborative brew, which we ended up doing with a few other breweries um, for the advent calendar. And one of the challenges sure. is that uh, we weren't sure when the um, the brewery was actually going to be open. I know that was uh, there was originally a September date. Um, <laughs> and it seems like we've kind of gone past that. Uh, what can people expect in terms of when they can come to the cellar door to experience the brewery or brewery tours and things along those lines? Yeah, well, so at the moment, I mean, like pretty much, pretty much every brewery I don't think has ever finished on time. <laughs> so yeah. it's not a surprise to me uh, yeah. in the sense that, so they're, we're pushing hard. I am hoping and I'm hopeful that we will get our first brew in before Christmas. Yeah. I'm pushing for that. So the brewery itself would be probably fully operational again. I'm hopeful for, you know, mid January when we can start packaging out um, what we're, what we're producing. So I'm hoping by mid Jan we'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be up and running in full swing. Cool. All right. Well, we might just uh, wrap that one up for day number two. Thanks again for the, uh, the quiet deeds pale ale. Um, and, and, uh, we're stuck to have it included in our beer advent calendar for day number two. Um, and Absolutely. Thanks, thanks again for your time to, um, share a bit about, uh, the journey of quiet deeds, um, what this beer is and what people can expect when they're uh, cracking it open uh, during the day for day number two. So thanks again. And um, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Justin. All right. Thanks. Cheers. See ya.